Hi guys. So I'm being, I feel very drained and tired um, because of the unfortunate events of everything that has been happening here on YouTube in the beauty industry and the beauty community. I'm feeling drained and tired because this is just so exhausting, you know, keeping up with everything that's happening. Um, you know, I have my own life outside of YouTube, and I'm here on YouTube to be this positive light. I am not here to be negative, like this negative energy that people already deal with on a daily basis outside of YouTube. I want this to be for people to be like an escape for them per se, just so they can feel some type of joy during their day, you know? I am on here because I love makeup and I love playing with it. Um, and I am sad with the unfortunate events that have come up. I am kind of disappointed. I am not kind of, I am disappointed. I have been a fan of some, I have been a fan of Laura and Manny in the past and what's come to light has just left me feeling has left me feeling disappointed and I don't like what I see. I don't like seeing people hurting others. I don't. I um sorry this has just been so much it's been weighing on me and I feel like it's important for you guys to see this side of me because I'm not being filtered I'm not trying to force myself to cry I um I'm this is me this is me being genuinely upset and disappointed. And also stressed. And I want to explain something. So when I look out into the distance or when I'm looking to the side or looking down, that's just my way of, you know, my brain is thinking of what to say. I have a learning disability. Um, it's not always easy for me to communicate how I'm feeling. Um, and, you know, this is just me being raw. Just telling you how I'm feeling. Um, I'm just so, so tired of all of this, you know? It's exhausting. And I just, I want, I want them to sit down and talk and, you know, resolve their issues with each other, you know, because it affects us subscribers, you know, maybe not all subscribers, but it's affected me and See, I'm, look this, I'm looking down because I'm trying to find the words to say how I'm feeling. And honestly, it's like zero. It's like on the heart monitor kind of like where, you know, someone's heartbeat is going like this. It kind of feels like I'm numb. There's not much to say other than this is all very disappointing. 
disheartening. I do hope that they do take this time to reflect on what they did and then, you know, take time to take care of themselves, take care of their, their mental health, because that is important. I am a mental health advocate, so that is important. It is important to take care of yourself and also to reflect um, so I just want to let you guys know I'm sorry if I don't sound very peppy or energetic or positive because that's not how I'm feeling I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not feeling positive I'm not feeling good and so this is just all weighing on me and um, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I do want to do a makeup tutorial. I want to use, I want to do a throwback Thursday tutorial. So please hang in there with me. I might not be as, you know, positive today. I'm sorry, but I can't be, I can't always put on a smile. I can't always hide how I'm feeling. I can't. I want to be authentic because that's who I am. I'm, I am an authentic person. I'm always, a, I'm always about feelings and being real and genuine and also being honest. I do hope they take this time to really think about what they did and come back when they're, they, they feel ready to talk about, you know, their truth, their, what they're feeling and, you know, It's not easy to make an emotional video. It's not. Because you have these these thoughts of like, what if, what if this happens? What if this happens? It's a lot of anxiety. Like, what if my subscribers don't understand me? What if my subscribers take what I say out of context? What if my subscribers don't un get me? They don't, what if my subscribers hate me? What if my subscribers don't love me anymore? You know, there's a lot of what ifs. And um, I just hope you guys can be kind to one another. Um, I hope that people have learned from this that you don't want to be unkind um, be good to people that's what I want my legacy to be um, to be kind so let's get into this tutorial um, I'm gonna be using um, the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, the uh, Moon Child Highlighting um, Glow Kit by Anastasia. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. Um, I have some Becca, I have the um, Sunlight Bronzer. Um, I have this Makeup Geek Blush in Spellbound, one of my favorites. I have a couple other products that I love. Um, like, that are, oh, this one is a, a year ago, this came out a year ago, this is more newer, the Too Faced Hangover R Extreme 1, I love this, um, the Milk Kush Mascara is one of my favorites, I want to use a Smashbox lipstick in Straight Up, I think it will go perfect with 
the look that I have planned. Um, and then highlighter wise, I have this one by Laura Mercier. Oh wait, sorry, no, Moonchild, take them. <laughs> um, and then concealer wise, that's what I mean. I want to use the ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer. I can't believe a lot of these products came out a year ago. That's so crazy. Um, and then foundation. I want to use the uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, has SPF 20 in it. I don't want like a full coverage kind of foundation. I want something that's going to give me some coverage, but it's not going to be like full coverage. Um, and then for powder, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Press Powder. This came out a year ago. I can't believe it. Um, and then, let's see, lipsticks or lip glosses. I want to use the um, Marc Jacobs lip gloss in Sugar Sugar. Maybe, maybe mix in a little bit of Dainty. But we'll see how the it goes with the look. So it, let's go ahead and jump into this video. So I'm gonna start, of course, with my Hangover RX three in one primer. So what are some of your guys' favorite products that launched a year ago? Please let me know in the comments below. Um, and also just let me know your thoughts on like how you're doing, what your your thoughts on about this, um, uh, everything that's been going on. Please let me know in the comments below. I love interacting with you guys. I love hearing what you have to say. Um, um, so I'm actually going to start with the eyes, um, and I have an eye look in mind. I am so excited to be using the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I love this palette. It's just full of s such goodness. I love warm tones. I think they just suit my skin color very well, and I like how they make my eyes pop. And this does... Um, work well on many different skin colors too and I love the variety of mattes in here and shimmers and I love how you can go from like day to like night I'm gonna be incorporating a little bit of both in this I'm using the Smashbox lid primer and what I like about this is that it covers all the veins and discoloration. It's like a concealer in a way. Very good one. I'm gonna jump into my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette and I'm going to start with the shade, I think I'm going to start with the shade Sauced and then go into Low Blow. I'm going to use the um, number 7 brush by BH Cosmetics. I'm going to get a clean Just to blend everything together. I may have to 
fucking that up a little too high. It's okay. And then I'm gonna go in to the shade called Sauced, just to lighten up a little. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the shade called He Devil. Use the same brush. Look how pink and tight that is. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer portion. I love warm tones. They look so good. Okay. So then I am just blending everything together. What I'm gonna do now is take the shade called Enfuego. It's really pretty deep color. I'm gonna use this one by, I can't remember. Oh yeah, the Vintage Cosmetic Company. I'm going to go into En Fuego. And then to deepen it up even more, I'm going to go into the shade called Ashes. So that. And I'm going to take my cleansing cloth and just clean it up. And then what I'm gonna do is go into there's a little bit of kickback with these shadows but not too much. I'm gonna go into the shade called Lumbre here. And I'm gonna use my ring finger. And that is the eye look completed. So pretty. The use for the inner corner is ounce. It's nice about having these like cleansing cloth or like these cloths. So you can wipe your fingers on them. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the um, Ixo Beauty pencil brush, one of my favorite pencil brushes. Go into the shade called Ounce in the corner to brighten this whole look up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is mascara, and I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And I feel like this makes you look like you're wearing falsies. just makes your lashes look so good okay so now I'm gonna move on to the face products before I finish up the under eye and I'm um, gonna use I already primed my face with that Too Facing Hangover RX primer and I'm gonna go into the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB tinted moisturizer I'm in the shade ivory I'm gonna put some of that on the back of my hand. This is such a lightweight foundation and I love it. 
use my Sigma FE Flat Kabuki. Just tap this. And a butt. See, this definitely gives you some coverage. It's good for your everyday your concealer. Did you go? I'm gonna use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair Five. Blend that out. I'm gonna use my EXO Beauty Angled Face Brush. Yeah. I'm a big fan of this concealer. And it's reasonably priced. The only thing is to keep in mind is that it does oxidize. So now moving on to powder, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Press Powder and I'm in the shade Warm Light. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild P70. I love how this powder sets it, but it doesn't look dry. It just looks really healthy. Bronzer, I'm gonna use one of my favorites. It's by Becca. It's a sunlight bronzer, and I'm in the shade Bali Sands. I love this bronzer so much. And I'm going to use my Wet n Wild P60. Face. I love using this for bronzer and blush. It just distributes everything so well. I'm not also using this as my contour shade because it is a little bit more cool toned, but it does have some warmth to it still. And then for bronze, uh, bronzer, for blush, I'm gonna use an oldie, but a goodie. It's uh, Makeup Geek Spellbound. This blush goes with anything and just gives you the nicest flush to the cheeks. So pretty. I love it so much. And then for highlight, I'm going to use um, the Anastasia Moonchild. And I'm going to use this shade right here called Blue Ice. So pretty. I'm going to use my Sigma F03 high cheekbone. Just love how this adds a little oomph to the look. It's like you look straight and it just looks like a really pretty like white highlighter and then you turn your head and it has that really pretty like blue reflect so pretty now use whatever is remaining on my nose the top of my cupid's bow and then for lipstick I'm gonna use the smashbox be Legendary Lipstick in a Straight Up. I'm 
These lipsticks are so creamy. I feel like this look is so perfect for fall, which is perfect because it is becoming fall, one of my favorites, uh, one of my favorite seasons, um, other than spring. I love spring. What I love about these lipsticks is they're so comfortable and pigmented and they don't get on your teeth. Um, and so for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade called Cayenne, the little mixture of Chaser. I use my pencil brush to start with Cayenne. is take a bit of Enfuego and Ashes just to connect everything. We use Enfuego. And then a little bit of Just going back in with my blending brush, just so everything blends together. And then, I'm gonna put some mascara on. My birthday, guys, is tomorrow. I can't believe it. I'm turning 23. August 31st. Hello to all my other Virgos out there. And that is the completed look, you guys. I'm just gonna finish it up with some setting spray. You can use this as setting spray. I'm actually gonna top this lipstick off with the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. I'm gonna focus this on the center. And that is the completed look, you guys. Happy with how everything turned out. I love everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me, I, let me know what uh, products you guys are loving from last year still um, in the comments below. And, ah. Uh, Yeah, these marked it. And on that note, <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great night or day wherever you are. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.